So this next encounter is the first phase of Tanix, and it's actually a very simple but frenetic encounter to kind of explain. So first off, this will introduce a new role, which is the suppressor, which I will get into in a second. You'll notice in this room that there are some central bins where you'll eventually have to deposit nuclear cores. The easy way to track that for your fire team is the way we do it is if you invert your PlayStation controller, we would call these R1, R2, L1, L2. Again, as in you're coming to the room and you're looking forward and you have right and left. So those are very important to track because those are where you're gonna put the cores in that you're gonna get here in a second. You'll notice that Tanix is obviously in the room and you also notice there's augmentation terminals. There's three of them that are scattered around the room, middle, right, and left. So you want to split the fire team. It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you, how you split up, because this encounter will have you taking roles, switching out roles, things like that all the time. What you want to do is for the scanner, when you pick up the scanner, have the scanner person look to see which of the two boxes are lit up. Those are the two boxes that you can put the cores into. The operator, when you have the cores, there are three cores that can pop up. The operator is going to want to shoot one of the terminals, one of the red operator terminals, to prevent one of the cores from spawning so you can only get the two. You're going to have two people to pick up cores. When you pick up cores, you'll notice a radiation debuff that's going to be coming on you. That has a timer on it. When it gets to 10, you die. So if you're running that in and it's taking too long to get them into the particular cores, you're going to want to make sure you tell the other people in the fire team to pick the cores up from you. And even the people who have roles can pick up the cores. For them to pick up the cores, they just have to interact with you and then you can pick those up. Now you'll notice after the cores spot out that you can't put them in immediately. That's because one of the things you have to do is you have to suppress Tanix. And to suppress Tanix, the way you do this is there are, you'll notice that there are three locations that you can get under the security drones to shoot a tracks Get under the security drone, shoot a tracks that suppresses him. Once he's suppressed, then you can actually have the two people put their cores in. When you do suppress it, one of the three roles that you have is going to be deactivated. It could be suppressor, it could be the operator, or it could be the scanner. You'll need to pay attention to that, and then whoever has that happen to them has to go to an augmentation portal and actually put their, their augment in, and then someone else has to pick it up. So you constantly have to be switching out the roles. And actually in the challenge, there's an actual order to doing that. So again, it's really good and important to kind of make sure you're comfortable with all the roles. And honestly, we play freestyle when we do this. We just kind of randomly do it anyway. So once you get comfortable, you can do that. Do this whole sequence five more times, and then you unlock the hatch in the middle and you get to the encounter. Now, once you do unlock the hatch, and this is a really fun encounter because again, you're, you're crashing the spaceship and you'll see it getting fiery and fiery. You'll notice a hallway with a door at the end. Quickly run towards that because Tanix is gonna be chasing you the entire time. And if he catches you, he's gonna kill you. That door is slowly closing. One person on the fire team has to get through the door. And again, it doesn't have to be everyone or the whole fire team will die. But at least one person needs to get through and that completes the encounter. So again, really fun raid uh, with the changes coming in with weapon crafting. I figure people are going to want to get into this again. So I wanted to give you advice from someone who's done this quite a bit of time on how to do this with the updated meta and the updated understandings people have gotten over the years versus when the raid first came out. That's the video. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, join my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.